In this video, we are going to be walking through our process and flow for using Sketch and InVision. What's up guys? So as we've been working on JOG, we've been getting lots of great feedback and have been looking at new features that we want to implement. So we've been jumping back into Sketch, looking at the brand and an updated user experience. And we wanted to take this opportunity to show you our flow and our process for getting things in and sharing things with developers and how we do that with Sketch and Envision. All right guys, here we are in Sketch. You can start to see the new brand that we're working on. And moving over here, you're going to see these different flows that we've been starting to create. So horizontally, we have where each of our flows begin, and then vertically is what happens inside of each of these flows based on some different scenarios that we've set up that we think our users might go through. So looking into one of these, uh, here's a component that we've set up using symbols. Zoom out here, you can see this is the symbol library or component library that we began setting up for use. Using symbols, we can do things like display, okay, what does this look like when it's filled out versus what does it look like when it's unfilled? If I go back to this instance, I can have the option of saying, you know what, I wanna show the contact card unfilled here instead. And if I go back into that, I might say, uh, I actually want this to be this tertiary color, let's go with that, and maybe to match, I'm gonna make this in line with that. And when I return to this instance, I can see that it's been updated on this artboard, but it's also been updated on other instances where this artboard is shown. And so the beauty of this is that it allows us, instead of going through every single one of these artboards and making the same changes, it changes automatically, which gives me more time to focus on creating better experiences, figuring out what the best user experience of this app is going to be. So now that I've made these updates, I am going to select all of them because I want to export them to Envision. Using this plugin right here, this is called Craft, which is a plugin that Envision created for use in Sketch. You can do a lot of things, but right now we're just showing the ability to say I want to sync to Envision, which is going to export my artboards up to my Envision file. And it happens really quickly, within seconds, you can see here which ones it's cycling through. So if I go over to my Envision file, we try to set these up in the same flows that we had created earlier to keep things organized. I heard that ding, so that means that things have been updated, and sure enough, here I can see everything has been updated as I wanted it to. So going into this screen, I can do a lot of different things in Envision. So one of the biggest things we use it for is hot spotting. Um, in order to let people click through our prototypes and get an idea of what the actual experience would be like. So here's a hotspot that I had previously set up. It goes back to the contact screen. So over here, I've told it to link to that screen and I've told it the transition that I want it to do. Another thing I can do is go into comment mode and I can see I already have a few comments, but I'm gonna leave another one right here and say, I really preferred that blue. What if we went back to that? And I can send that. And then the last thing I can do is go into inspect mode, which has been a really useful tool for our developers. Here you can see all the document colors that are being used as well as the screen colors. And clicking into anything, I can see things like font, size, um, weight, line height. I can click on something and scroll over other components or um, yeah, to see the padding. I could click on these cards to see the margin that I need. It's a really powerful tool, as well as being able to tap into any icons and uh, export assets, which we don't have right now. I'll show you how we do that. In Sketch, I would need to tap on this icon. And I'm gonna say, okay, I wanna make this exportable. Let's do one, two, three X, and then SVG. And typically you would export through here and then you know send all of those assets to the developer. But since we're using sync, all we have to do 
is sync up that artboard. There was the ding, so going back into InVision, you can just tap on this icon, and here I can see all of those assets and download one. So there's a little glimpse into our workflow of using Sketch, Craft, and Vision, and how we kind of think about components and symbols and using that to make our workflow a lot quicker. Thanks for watching our video. Give us a like, subscribe to the channel. We'd love to hear from you, so leave a comment. If you have any tips, if you have um, anything you want to share on how you use Sketch and Envision, we would love to hear. So again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.